Hurricane Aaron has reached a Category 5 status after the storm rapidly intensified last night into this morning. You're looking at weather conditions from Puerto Rico and the British Virgin Islands. Thank you for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Grace Grill. First alert, meteorologist Cutter Martin is tracking this major hurricane. And Cutter, there's a chance Aaron may continue to strengthen. Certainly can't rule it out. 160 right now, 160 mile per hour sustained winds, and we could, as it continues to reorganize tonight into tomorrow morning, uh, see another jump up in wind speed. Obviously, it is a monster hurricane, though. Do notice more recently, I'm, I'm circling that eye there. We're seeing just a little bit more cloud cover detected by satellite over the eye. I think we're beginning an eye wall replacement cycle. Basically, when a storm gets this intense, this massive, it has to breathe a little bit, it has to reorganize every so often, and we're in the beginning stages of that. So maybe see some subtle weakening before some potential re-strengthening forecast to at the very least maintain category 5 status over the next 24 hours or so gradual weakening a four then becoming a three as it remains off the U.S. East Coast though you know by a slim margin here so certainly we're watching it still looking to remain east big swells though high risk of rip currents from Florida all the way to Maine uh, certainly a possibility back home first alert radar we're mostly dry hour by hour forecast 80s grace becoming 70s more heat humidity tomorrow and the latest on when the worst of those rip currents arrive coming up in the full weather forecast. All right, Cutter, thank you. And Hurricane Aaron is prompting warnings of dangerous rip currents along the East Coast. WJZ spoke with the captain of the Ocean City, Maryland Beach Patrol on what you should do if you find yourself in one. They're not that wide, though. People just need to be aware if they find themselves in one, don't panic. You know, let us know they need help and then swim parallel. You know, if you know the way the current's going ahead of time, then that's the direction you swim. Let the current help you. He says they are always monitoring conditions and make a decision on what they see. However, with 10 miles of beach at Ocean City, the two ends can look very different.